It's a missing persons case that has been hanging over northern B.C. for more than a decade. Madison Scott was last seen in May 2011, yet her face is still seen on billboards plastered around Vanderhoof, a constant reminder of a mystery left unsolved. Over the 12 years, just to feel that awful big hurt and it never goes away. Maddie, as she was known, was 20 years old at the time. This police reenactment shows the last moments before her disappearance. She left Vanderhoof, a town about 100 kilometers west of Prince George, on a Friday night. She was on her way to a party at Hogsback Lake, about a 20-minute drive away. It's believed Maddie parked her truck and set up a tent nearby where she was going to spend the night. She met her friends at the party and was last seen around 3 a.m., but the next day, she never returned home. A massive search was launched, her parents pleading for information. We need them to come forward. And soon, like now would be a good time. The investigation drew international attention, even featured on the CBS show 48 Hours. No one's seen it for, I don't know, 467 days now. And now, 12 years later, a major development in the case. We have uh, discovered Madison, have confirmed through BC Coroner Service that it is her. Mounties have executed a search warrant sweeping a rural property on the east side of Vanderhoof. They wouldn't give specifics about what led investigators here, only saying this location is connected with the discovery of Maddie's remains. Many support services have been called to assist during this investigation, and they could be on scene at this piece of property for, for many days or as long as it takes. RCMP say Maddie's family has been notified. They're asking for privacy right now. The investigation remains active and open, and foul play has not been ruled out. The community, in the meantime, is left to grieve. An incredible sadness, loneliness, uh, helplessness. Former Mayor Jerry Teeson says his hope is that within the pain, there might be some closure too. We never ever want to forget uh, what we've gone through. Hopefully this will be a time of healing. A sense of finality, yes, but still the looming question of what exactly happened to Maddie that fateful Friday night in May, 12 years ago. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.